Welcome to Stories of Hope from the Bible. I am Dr. John Sincerian and I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In this 12th episode, I'll be reading from Exodus chapter 15 verse 22 onwards. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur, and they went 3 days in the wilderness and found no water. Now when they came to Mara, they could not drink the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Mara. And the people complained against Moses saying what shall we drink so he cried out to the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree when he cast it into the waters the waters were made sweet there he made a statute and an ordinance for them and there he tested them and said if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes i will put none of the diseases on you which i have brought on the egyptians for i am the lord who heals you then they came to elim where there were 12 wells of water and 70 palm trees so they camped there by the waters In the journey of the Israelites from the land of Egypt to the land of Canaan the land flowing with milk and honey we see them experiencing many difficult situations and it's the same thing in our christian lives as we journey to the heavenly jerusalem or eternal life with god we experience numerous difficult situations in our lives now israelites they had just encountered a great problem in their lives and god had granted them a great deliverance pharaoh and his armies pursued the israelites when they came out of egypt but god did a great miracle for them by splitting the red sea and the israelites could walk through dry ground and cross over to the other side while pharaoh and his armies when they tried to do it they were drowned in the sea the enemy that had troubled them for 430 years was no more and the israelites they traveled from the red sea they went out into the wilderness of shur and after three days in the wilderness they did not find any water now we know how important water is in our lives just imagine a situation where we travel for three days and we do not find any good water the israelites here were not a small group there were around six lakh men who had got out of egypt and then there were women and children so the count must have been around 15 to 20 lakhs and the people did not have any water but when they came to mara they found some water but they could not drink it because the water was bitter that's why it was called mara mara means bitter and the people they complained against the leader who was guiding them through the wilderness against moses they cried out to moses what shall we drink and as usual moses cried out to the lord and the lord had a solution when we pass through difficult circumstances in our lives as christians we can always cry out to our savior He is always there for us and he can provide a solution like no man can. Sometimes we may face circumstances in our life where we feel that there is no way forward and we feel hopeless and depressed, but we can always cry out to our savior and he will find a way for us. Now when Moses cried out to the Lord, the Lord showed him a tree. It must have been there near the waters of Mara for a long time, but even though Moses and the Israelites they saw it, they did not know how it could be beneficial. God shows Moses the tree and when Moses cast the tree into the waters the waters were made sweet. We do not know what substances were in the tree but we know that God did a great miracle for Moses and the Israelites. He turned the bitter waters into sweet. When we read the word of God we see so many people crying out in the bitterness of their lives. Especially when we read the book of Job we read about many bitter experiences that Job went through. And some of the verses that we read speak of the depths of his sorrow and bitterness. Job 7 and verse 11, Therefore I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Job 9, 18, He will not allow me to catch my breath, but fills me with bitterness. Job 10, 1, My soul loathes my life. I will give free course to my complaint. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. Job 23, 2, Even today my complaint is bitter. my hand is listless because of my groaning maybe you are lamenting as job did but we know the great miracles that god did for job in the end job had to suffer for a while but god did a great miracle for him and changed all the grievous circumstances in his life and blessed him abundantly the israelites here were in the wilderness walking for 3 days and finding no water they cried out in the bitterness of their soul and moses cried out to god god did a great miracle for them He showed Moses a tree which he threw into the waters and the waters became sweet. And God not only gave them water to drink, 
he made a covenant with them telling them that if they diligently listened to the voice of god and did what was right in his sight followed his commandments and his statutes then he would not put any of the diseases that he had put on the egyptians and he gave them a promise which said i am the lord who heals you what a great promise for a people traveling through the wilderness i am the lord who heals you and in verse 27 we read then they came to elim where there were 12 wells of water and 70 palm trees so they camped there by the waters so there are not only bitter circumstances that come into our life there are pleasant circumstances too in our christian life like the israelites they experienced here at elim there was enough water there 12 wells of water and 70 palm trees and they could camp there by the waters and experience the goodness of god in their lives so if you are crying out in the bitterness of your soul this day be strengthened because god is one who can change the bitter waters of mara into sweet he can do great things in your life too i am dr john sincerian and i wish you a blessed day in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ do share this message with your family and friends and let the name of our lord and savior jesus christ be glorified praise the lord